Evening, everybody. Uh, you'll have to bear with me. I usually watch videos, not make them. So, not a professional at this. It's actually pretty difficult to do. Um, elk hunting. I decided to put together an S bar heater, which I had a guy on Facebook put it together for me make it into a portable unit as you see here for elk hunting try to eliminate all the work with uh, making fire or chopping wood uh, burning wood feeding the stove all night kind of drives you down hunting elk there's a lot of work to begin with and uh, so we put this heater together and I promised the guy I will make a video on how that went. Power source was two 100 amp power lithium batteries. And I used, well, I took along a NOCO Pro 50 for charging. Should I run out of battery power with a Honda 2000i? And, uh, takes about three hours to charge a dead battery, 100 amp hour dead battery with this NOCO Pro 50. So we were going to set the heater up in one tent and have wood burning in the other. We have a 14 by 12 and a 14 by 20 tent. That's a lot of square footage checking the weather on the way up there we kind of decided we're gonna run the heater into both tents we use an ABS pipe for ducking uh, three inch we just set the heater up outside exhaust purposes vented about four feet off the ground so wind carries the exhaust well or the breeze and we just ducked it inside on a Y into both tents Simple as that. As I said, with the warmer weather we were expecting, we did set it up in both tents. Lowest we ever saw was probably mid to upper 40s. And uh, that's on the warm side. It was wet. We had quite a bit of rain in there. So it's miserable weather still, but not near what you run into up there. And the heater work, uh, we just, it was the easiest uh, hunting I've done as far as sleeping. You just turn the thing on every evening. I should go through the hours there. We got in there late afternoon Monday. We left around noon Saturday. So we had five nights of sleep in there. And the heater was shut off around 12 to 1 o'clock every day and started back up around, I'd say, 3 or 4 before everybody left for an evening hunt. So quite a bit of running hours in there. I did end up taking one battery off, putting the other one on the heater, charging the dead one. I never had to get into that third battery. And... Uh, so I used, you could basically say I used up 200 amp hours in that week. Heater will pull about half an amp on the lower setting, around three quarter amp on the high. The way I ran the heater, I did not use its thermostat and let the heater cycle on and off. I uh, set it to run continuous because that glow plug in the heater will pull 8 to 10 amps. So if you're cycling on and off all night, that is a significant draw. So as I said, just let the heater run continuous on anywhere from half an amp to three quarter. In my mind, that was the way I was going to get the most out of my batteries, which I did have, not have a problem with at all. I could have made it through with the two. My fuel consumption, I'm not 
entirely certain on this tank size. I'm guessing two to two and a half gallons. It's not a lot of fuel in there. I left home with the heater full. I had five additional gallons of fuel and what you see there is what we have left. So I would guess we averaged if it would have run 24 hours a day, it would have been just over, it would have been under a gallon and a half a day, gallon and a quarter, somewhere in there. And, uh, oh, I'm starting to admire you guys and do reviews. Wow. Mine just goes blank when you want to talk. I guess... If anybody has any questions, maybe we can do a, more of an in-depth video. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. The tents we were heating was 12 by 14 and 14 by 20. That's a lot of square footage. I know we didn't have the coldest weather. Our intention for this was just one tent. And I know we would have hunted any typical fall weather in northern Idaho with this heater in one tent it would have played with almost any weather we run into so just an idea alternative to burning wood even if you burn wood have this run on running slowly in the background will eliminate getting up every morning feeding a stove that goes about two, two and a half hours a night. I'm sure there's better ones out there, but the ones we have suck. So, cheers.